All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about the Shoei RF-1200 versus the Simpson Ghost Bandit. Let's check it out. What is going on, YouTube? BK Low is back in the building. And um, I got a question from a uh, subscriber who wrote in. This is uh, John, right? And quick synopsis of what he asked me. He said he is a new rider and he just pulled the trigger on a uh, Sportster 883. I believe the Iron 883. And uh, he was asking me about helmets. So he noticed that I'm often switching between a uh, Simpson Ghost Bandit and a Shoei RF-1200. And uh, he kind of wanted to know, like, for a first helmet, which one did I think is the better helmet to buy? So what I'll do is I'll break the video down into five categories, and then we'll come up with a decision at the end of which one is probably the better bang for the buck, which aspects of each helmet the uh, helmet performs better in. So yeah, we'll break it down into five categories and um, identify the strengths and weaknesses of each helmet, all right? So let's check it out. So the first uh, category, which I think is on everyone's mind, is the wind noise, right? So it's interesting because the Simpson Ghost Bandit and Simpson helmets in general have a reputation of being really loud in terms of wind noise. And then the Shoei RF-1200 has a reputation of being really quiet in regards to wind noise. So for someone who uses both of them, I can tell you that those reputations for both helmets are 100% true. The Simpson Ghost Bandit is definitely loud when it comes to wind noise, especially when you're on the highway. So I mean, the speeds that we're doing now, just, you know, ripping around Brooklyn, you'll be okay, right? The wind is not going to kill you. But it's more like when you are doing days when you're spending hours on the highway, that's when you're going to start to notice it and that's when you're going to get off your bike and your ears are going to be ringing. In that, um, in that category, the Shoei RF-1200 definitely wins. It's a very, very quiet helmet comparatively and um, hands down, like if I'm doing a day of long highway miles, that's where I'm definitely going to use my Shoei RF-1200 over my Simpson. So. Category one, I think the Shoei RF definitely wins. It's definitely the quieter helmet. All right, so category number two, and this is probably not the prime reason why you should buy a motorcycle helmet, but this is the category of the visuals, the look of the helmet, how it looks, etc., the styling points. And, um, you know, you've seen both helmets before. You know, both are pretty popular helmets among Dyna riders. And for me, I guess it's a matter of opinion, right? But I think the uh, general consensus, and I have to agree with it, that when it comes to the style and the look of the helmet, the uh, Simpson Ghost Bandit is definitely going to win. It's a very, very unique looking helmet. There's not too many helmets out there that look like it, and the helmets out there that do look like it came after, and they're like trying to kind of you know, put their own spin on that style that Simpson created. So it's like showing the RF-1200 does have a whole bunch of options in terms of paint and everything, but I just don't think like, especially when it comes to Dyna culture, that the RF-1200 has that iconic look that the uh, Simpson helmets do, you know? And again, I don't think that's like a main reason to buy a helmet, but it's like, you know, I think I've always thought Dyna culture was cool, obviously. And, you know, the Simpson helmet is just kind of like a part of that. And it's like, you know, when you roll up at the light and some Dyna bro pulls up next to you with a Dyna and a Simpson helmet, you know you're probably going to have something to talk about. You know you're probably going to be friends. So it's just like a part of Dyna culture. It's a really cool looking helmet. Simpson's um, styles like the uh, Subdued and the Revolt, which I'm known for, you know, they, they blow away most helmets in regards to styling points, in my opinion. Nothing pops like a good Simpson helmet. 
And I mean, I've done so many vlogs in this helmet that, you know, that's kind of like what I'm known for at this point. So when I wear this helmet, I get recognized all the time. And that's happened in other countries, right? When we did our Canada trip, I was getting recognized over there because of this helmet. Because I don't think there is many other um, moto vloggers who are rocking a uh, high-vis ghost bandit. <laughs> so the uniqueness of it is just like something that most other helmets cannot touch Simpson on. So Simpson's gonna win in that category. Okay, so category number three, and that is the comfort of the helmet. So it's not to say that Simpson is not a comfortable helmet. It's definitely a very comfortable helmet. It definitely gives you a sense of lightness when you put it on. But the thing about my Shoei helmet is that helmet just like fits me like a glove. And what I noticed with my Simpsons helmets is when I bought either one of them because I also have a Ghost Bandit and Matt Black. But when I bought it new and I put it on out of the box, like it felt the same way. Like it fit like a glove. The pads were like stiffer and it just fit really good, right? But then what happens is when you start to put in miles on the helmet, obviously the pads loosen up and now I'm at a point with this helmet where it's actually a little bit more loose than I would like for my own comfort. So with the showy, you know, I put that helmet on, it fit like a glove, just like a new helmet should. And then even as the pads broke in, the fit still stayed true and it still didn't like give into a whole bunch of looseness where the helmet could move around too much, which is what you don't want. And yeah, I mean, just like the fit around my head personally for the showy, it just feels way more comfortable. It seems to make way more sense. But again, I'm not, I'm not saying that the Simpson is not a comfortable helmet. I'm just saying like longevity wise, you know, my showy is still as comfortable as it was the day I put it on. Whereas, you know, when, like I said, when the Simpsons started to break in, it started to become loose. You know, and, and even if that happens with Shoei, like they have a solution for that, right? Like when you buy replacement pads, you could choose the size of those pads and how much they're gonna, how much they're gonna push up and how much space they're gonna take up. So if you notice that like maybe your pads are too tight, then you could opt for thinner pads. Where Simpson doesn't really have that option. I know what some people do for a Simpson helmet is like, if they want, if they want to play around with that, then they just buy a size up or a size down for the cheek pads. But there's nothing that's really offered for, you know, the liner or the full helmet itself. Whereas Shoei does have an answer for that. So I think that's cool. And I think it's cool that Shoei really has invested a lot of thought in terms of the general comfort of the helmet. All right, so category number four, and this is gonna be the weight, right? So it's actually interesting because I had an opinion about this and I wanted to make sure that that opinion was grounded in facts. So I went to uh, Revzilla and I just checked out what they were saying about the weight of the helmet. According to Revzilla, the helmets are actually very similar in weight, which I was not expecting. From my experience, I thought that the Simpson Ghost Bandit was going to be a significantly lighter helmet in terms of weight. But I looked at it and the weight was only like 0.5 or like 0 0.05 off or something. It was like a negligible difference, which again, is just like not consistent with my experience. So I don't know if like they got their facts right or whatever, or, or, um, or if it's just the way the, that the helmet is balanced but the Simpson Ghost Bandit feels way lighter than the Shoei RF 1200. Like noticeably lighter. And it's not just on your head, it's like when you pick it up, like it actually feels lighter. All right, we take a brief intermission to drop Jenny off to yoga. Listen, man, yoga yoga is a good thing. Go out there and do your yoga. All right, really nail that Cobra today. You have fun.
Five star Uber, that's what I like to hear. Five star Uber. Yeah, so I mean, it's weird because, you know, they're, um, when you, when you look at the numbers, they're so close, but again, it just, it really does, for some reason, I don't know why, but the Simpson just feels a lot lighter, and that's on your head, and that's in your hands. So, I don't know if anyone else owns both helmets, and they have that experience, and if you want to chime in on this, I'm going to go with, in terms of weight, I'm definitely going to put the uh, Simpson as number one on that, comparatively. So, Simpson wins that one. Okay, so the last category, and um, this doesn't apply to everyone, but I know a lot of people have asked about this too, and that's in regards to motovlogging, which is the better helmet to use. And to answer that question, one of the main reasons why I got the Shoei helmet is because as the um, Simpson that I'm wearing started to loosen up, what I noticed was happening is the um, camera right here in the front it's starting to like pull the helmet down, you know, like pulling the helmet down, which was really uncomfortable. So I was like, I need to find a solution for this. I need to find a helmet that's gonna fit me a little bit more snug. And that was of course the Shoei RF 1200. And once I put it on, I'm like, oh yeah, this is gonna be great. Even if I mount a camera on here, I could feel that the helmet's not gonna go anywhere. All right, let's just take a second and just take a look at that beautiful skyline. Oh man, that is something else. Oh man, that that is beautiful. Sorry, sorry for the interruption. Let's, uh, let's get back to our video, guys. As we were. Yeah, so. Motovlogging wise, what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna pick the Shoei RF1200 hands down because number one, it's a snugger fit so the helmet's not gonna be pulled down by the camera. And then number two is again, remember the Shoei is a quieter helmet. So what that means is you're gonna get reduced wind noise. So less wind noise means your audio is gonna come out better. So those are two really good reasons why if I had the choice, I'm always gonna use my Shoei RF1200 for motovlogging. Now I started motovlogging again in my Simpson just because, <laughs> just because I missed it. <laughs> okay, so there you have it, the five categories and do the math. The Shoei has come up above beating the Simpson, right? So what I would say is if you are in between the two helmets, right? It's your first helmet. I would go with the Shoei RF1200 as a first helmet. I think it's, you know, all around probably a better helmet. Now, that being said, I have both and I use both and I like both, but I use them for different reasons. So if I'm doing a ride like I'm doing now, where I'm just like, ripping around town, I'm gonna take my Simpson. It's lighter, I like the high-vis aspect of the Revolt, um, and it's just more, uh, it's more FX GLS Brooklyn, you know, it's traditionally what I wore. But now, if I'm going to Sturgis, or I'm doing a long distance trip, or I know I'm gonna be ripping a lot of highway miles, then I'm probably gonna take my RF1200. So at the end of the day, I love both of them. They're both amazing helmets, but I use them both for different reasons. I'm not saying buy both of them. If you have to make the choice, my recommendation for the first one would be get the uh, RF1200. But if you like both of them and you're like, oh man, but I really want a Simpson. I really want that uh, Predator look at some point. You know, I want to be a true Dynabro. <laughs> You can still be a Dynabro with a Shoei, but um, then maybe it's like, you know, pick up the Shoei first and then down the line, get a, get a Simpson, you know, for um, ripping around town. Or if you know most of the riding you're going to be doing, 
is the riding like I'm doing right now. If you're just like ripping around the city, not doing a crazy amount of highway miles, right? Maybe you want like the really cool design, like the um, new glow in the dark one or the subdued or something, then get the Simpson first. And then when you're ready to start crushing highway miles, go on to an RF 1200, you know? But either way, I am a fan of both helmets, obviously. And I use them for different scenarios. They're both great in their own respect. So yeah, I hope that answers the question. I'm trying to do my best to uh, make videos to respond to the things that people are asking me. I didn't just buy both of these helmets at the same time, right? I have both these, I have multiple helmets because I'm putting in years and years of riding at this point and it's just something that you acquire the more years you ride. You're gonna have multiple helmets just the way it is. You know, like for example, somebody, like for example, someone like Peter Guns, you know, if you ever go, if you ever see his helmet collection, he has like a uncountable amount of helmets. So many helmets. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. As always, thank you for watching, stay safe out there, and stay low. And BK Low is out.